Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the D60 chart or the Shashyamsa chart, okay? Now, why is this so important? Well, first of all, I want you to look at something. Okay, what do you notice about the number 60? Well, there's 12 houses in astrology and 12 goes into 60 five times. So you can look at this in general. When you look at any of the divisional charts, first of all, the Lugna chart kind of represents it shows everything on the surface, okay? It's literally where the planets are in the sky, the physical placement. So it's showing what's happening in the physical. For example, your Lugna has a lot to do with your own physical body itself. However, as you go deeper and deeper down into the divisional charts, so like D2, 3, 4, 7, 9, then keep going higher and higher, 20, 30, 60, etc. You're going less and less away from the physical and more and more away more and more towards you know the true consciousness or the true soul atma okay um so like i said 12 goes into 65 times so you can kind of group the divisional charts in general into like from d1 to d12 and then after d12 to d24 is kind of like section two and then till D36, section three, then 48, four, and then 65, okay? And I'm not sure how educated you guys are on the Upanishads, but the Upanishads show that for this birth, we have five koshas, okay? So each of those sections that I just described, you could theoretically connect them to a kosha, okay? This is a little bit of like a tangent, but you could connect them to a kosha, okay? Now, one thing I want you to notice in that last section, after D48 to D60, there's there's about 15, you know, well-known divisional charts, okay? So all of them are D1, 2, after the D1, there's D2, 3, 4, 7, 9, 10, um, 12, 16, 20, 24, 27, 30, 40, 45, and 60, okay? Those are the 15. Now, like I said, the D60 chart, it's the only one in that last section, okay? So the D48 to 60, that's kind of like the last kosha. And it's all the way at the end of that, of that period, right? It's right at D60. So what? It, it's right at the number 60, okay? So, and there's only five kosha. So what does this mean? This basically means the D60 chart is showing you exactly what is happening, kind of the closest possible to the true soul level of who you are, okay? Now, when it comes to the D60 in general, in order to really utilize it, you have to go within yourself and recognize your own true consciousness before you can kind of pick up on the intuition when it comes to that chart itself, okay? The D60 chart is a very intuitive chart. The more and more lower you go into the um, into the divisional charts, the more and more intuitive you have to be in general, okay? That's why most of the time, even, even on the internet or on YouTube or if you were to see an astrologer themselves, they probably won't be able to tell you crazy amount on the D60, okay? One, it could be that they just don't know. Or two, they could make the excuse that they that they need your exact birth time, which is valid to an extent because the D60 chart does change very frequently. But if they're that intuitive, I'll get to it in a second of why that's an excuse. But the third thing is that the D60 chart or any deep divisional chart in general relies heavily and heavily on intuition. Now, Obviously, not everyone has the intuition to kind of recognize like that deep intuition in another person's chart as well. But there's two quotes that I'm going to want to bring up to you here. OK, one is that I think it goes something like if the teacher and the student are both doing their jobs properly, the student should be eventually better than the teacher one day. Or I think it might be the master and the student. If the if the if the master and the student are both doing their jobs, the student will be better than the master one day. Okay. This kind of works the same way for astrology. If you if you if you're kind of seeing one, they should to an extent, if you have this interest. Okay. Now I understand most people 
when it comes to astrology, they basically want to know about their love life uh, and their money life, and career life, very superficial stuff that basically shown from the D12 and up, okay? Anything from the D1 to D12, that's fine. But if you do have the interest in those lower divisional charts, especially like the D60, they should be able to guide you on how to develop that intuition yourself so that you can understand your own chart properly because that's your own D60 chart, okay? That's your chart like that's representing all the planets at like the truest, most purest soul level possible and how they're connected to your birth in this lifetime, okay? And a good astrologer, if they were to, if they were to, if you were to ask them like questions about that, they should be able to guide you in growing your own intuition so that you can develop it yourself, okay? Astrology as a whole, like it's it's turned into a business, unfortunately, but everyone ideally should be able to look at their own chart and have that own intuition within themselves to understand how the planets are, you know, working for them in all the charts, okay? But the, just the society we live in, we don't have that connection to... Um, to, you know, our higher consciousness, but you can kind of look at the higher consciousness within us, our soul, Atma, as kind of like the internet, okay? When you go within, you're connected to everything outside, okay? You, you don't want to directly connect and attach to everything outside. You want to go within, okay? But yeah, so that's that. But now back to the D60 chart. So like I said, unfortunately, when it comes to like super calculative predictive astrology a lot of people they'll they'll just use you know their their calculations when 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 looking at this right and you might look at me and be and see me in my early 20s and be like okay what does this guy know what he's talking about and if you want to think like that that's fine but i'm just telling you what bhagwan has told me and guided me okay if you astrology it's, itself is a spiritual science okay so what does this mean it's it's not like abstract theoretical math, okay? Where, you know, certain things automatically equal certain other things, okay? Astrology has its own, it's its own soul to it, okay? You, you, you have to look at it as from a very spiritual perspective, okay? Now, you obviously need to know the fundamentals too to make, to, to interpret any of this, right? Like you got to know how to read a chart and, you know, stuff like that, the, the basics of how to read a chart. But um, you have to have, it, it's a spiritual science in the sense that if you're not spiritually inclined and if you don't have that spiritual intuition and that spiritual connection inside you, there's going to be a cap that you hit or there's going to be a limit that you hit or there's going to be a certain, you know, quote unquote percentage accuracy that you're going to get to before you hit a halt. Okay. So why am I talking about this? The D60 chart, it's it's a very intuitive chart, okay? So the more and more you go into down the divisional charts, the less and less, quote unquote, the fundamentals are gonna work. Okay, the 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 you're gonna you're gonna have to use your own intuition in seeing how to read that chart. And from a predictive standpoint, uh, you might know I, I'm, I'm not really too crazy into predictive astrology, okay? Whatever is kind of, pe people overhype predictive astrology, okay? It's supposed to be used for, you know, the spiritual lessons that you're supposed to learn in this birth, not basically try to manipulate your spiritual lessons into materialistic outcomes. But if you want to kind of you see how the D60 chart is connected to your predictions, you're going to have to have a a lot of intuition to do this, okay? The only way you're gonna be able to read this chart is if you are if you go inside and you recognize who you are at a soul level, then you'll be able to see that D60 chart exactly for what it is and how it connects to um, this birth, okay? At a pure, pure soul level, okay? Because like I said, 60 is 12 divided by five, okay? So it's basically sitting all the way at the end of the fifth gosha, okay? Right, right kind of on the brink of, you know, of, of who, of what your soul truly is. Okay. That's what that D60 chart is showing. Also, 
the D45 chart, the chart right before, I'll make another video separately on this, but I'd encourage you also to analyze the difference between the D45 chart and the D60 chart. Why? Well, like I said, the D60 chart is sitting right, right at the back of the fifth Gosha, okay? The fifth Gosha is basically represented by bliss, okay? It's before Atma, right? But it's at the back of the fifth Gosha of bliss. The D45 chart is sitting kind of towards the back, not all the way at the back, but it's kind of, if you're, if you're structuring this the way I have into five different sections of, of 12, it's kind of almost at the end of that fourth. So what does this mean? The D45 chart, it's, it's almost at that fifth kosha of bliss, but it's just right there. So it's like a little bit of that taste of, you know, mind and ego and all that is still present in that D45 chart, but it is also still, uh, good it, it, to, to look at why it's not the actual D45 chart itself. It's that if you're able to understand the D45 chart and kind of notice the difference between the D45 and the D60, your spiritual wisdom will go to another level and you will, and you, you'll just be able to recognize it'll speed up your, your, your the, the knowledge that you receive. Okay. If you, if you're able to distinguish the difference between the D45 and the D60, you'll, you'll see exactly how to an extent those two last koshas operate. Okay. And understanding how all the koshas operate is in my opinion, crucial in understanding, you know, spirituality as a whole especially in this birth okay but this video is about that's just a side note i'll make another video about d45 later but that that's just a side note i would encourage you not only to look at the d60 the d60 is much more important than d45 but just see the d45 and see if you can recognize some of the differences between the d45 and the d60 and see how the placements of those sit within you okay um and, and and you'll be able to kind of sense some things at a spiritual level that will that will get some wheels turning, okay? At, deep down at a higher consciousness level, okay? Now, disclaimer: this is also assuming that you have the exact your exact birth time, okay? I'm hoping you do. Um, if you don't, there's ways you can you can get your exact birth time even just using these two charts in themselves. But I wouldn't recommend doing that until. Um, your your much your intuition is fully developed and I'll save this for another video how to do that okay but now getting back to the d60 um topic like I said it's showing the planets and the houses at their truest dignity right before at the end of the last kosha right before um the soul level right now this also what does that mean this also shows like the truest form of karma that these planets and houses entail. Why? Because the D1 chart and everything that's happening physically, if you understand spirituality, you'll understand exactly how these charts work. But like the truly how these charts work. The physical really, it's all for show, but it doesn't matter too much to an extent. But the divisional charts are kind of the results Okay, they show the, like, like the results of of what's happening. The Lugna chart is showing what is what's happening. The divisional charts are showing the results. And the D60 chart is like the truest, truest form of like the karmic results of this birth or certain planets or certain houses. It's showing the truest, truest like karma, the deepest at a soul level encoded karma for those planets and those houses and including conjunctions of certain planets and including um, aspects of certain planets also. I look at personally, okay, aspects in D60. So the, the truest, truest karma, but like I said, in order to understand how karma works, how, you know, the planets really work at a soul level or like like all that spiritual, you know, mumbo jumbo you might think, you have to understand how your own karma is working within you and how, you know, you're operating at a soul level before you can, because the planets are all you. 
Okay, you, they're not separate. They're all parts of you and they are you themselves. But in order to recognize all the different karmas of Saturn, you know, how, how Jupiter is at a true soul and you're at a true at a soul level in your chart, you need to somewhat understand a how you're operating yourself at a soul level and, you know, the karmas you kind of have for yourself at a soul level. And then all, before you have any hope of analyzing the D60 chart, right? Two, assuming you've done that, then you can go ahead and enhance your intuition, for and your astrological intuition. Because like I said, you need, at the end of the day, you need some fundamentals to know how to read the chart, right? So after you, after you know what's going on spiritually within yourself, and then you understand the fundamentals of astrology, then you can go ahead and start understanding some of these deeper divisional charts truly for what they are, especially the D60, because the D60, like I said, it's, 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 it's right at the end, okay? It's showing who you are truly, like right at that brink of soul level, okay? And that's very, very crucial for determining your karma for this birth, okay? So hope that kind of um, enlightened you in some way or you took something from this. Um, this is obviously might be a very controversial thing. So you might have your own opinions, which is okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's fine. <laughs> but if you do have any questions or comments, um, about this, just feel free to let me know, uh, and I'll answer them. Okay. So until next time, guys, thank you. Talk to you guys later.